Arsenal apparently have their next manager, and it's not who we all thought it was going to be, Unai Emery. Uh, of course, there you see his totals, both PSG and Sevilla. Sevilla, where he won three straight Europa League titles. Gavin, coming straight to you on this. Explain to me how we've gone in just 48 hours from Mikel Arteta being basically the odds-on favorite to get this job to now Emery being a shoo-in. Well, not even 48 hours, Seb, but uh, more like 24 hours. Uh, it's really quite remarkable. You're hearing conflicting things. Uh, Arsenal putting it out there that uh, Unai Emery, the announcement's going to come in the next couple of days, possibly Wednesday. Uh, they're saying that uh, it was uh, very much a unanimous decision. And, um, and other sources uh, being reported here from, uh, from Sky Sports News that, uh, uh, that Arteta pulled out of, uh, of contention because he didn't get assurances over, over transfers. Obviously, Arsenal next season, uh, they have a director of football in Raul Sanyehi and uh, um, uh, a head of scouting in Sven Mislinstadt. So I think to some degree it comes down to what spin uh, who or who spin uh, to believe in this one. Should also be said, though, that you know, Unai Emery was, uh, was managing Paris Saint-Germain right through the weekend, so uh, right through Saturday. So uh, they probably couldn't have uh, appointed him uh, earlier in, in any case. Ale, if this is indeed a done deal, mm. do you like it? No. And, and the reason I don't is because if you look at the recent history of Unai Emery, he failed at PSG. Now, there are levels of failure. And, and when he comes to PSG, he was supposed to take this team to a different level entirely. And he was given the resources and the players to do so. And time and time again, he was not able to do it in Champions League, where we can all agree that's where PSG came up short. One of the things that really concerns me about Unai Emery and, 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 and what went on in PSG is the mismanagement of the Neymar situation and the lack of leadership that was shown from him and from the club and how he handled that situation in particular. You also go back to the collapse that they had against Barcelona last year in Champions League, and then the collapse they had this year against uh, Real Madrid, in which they were favorites coming into that match. And then you start thinking, okay, well, what has Unai Emery done in order to be the choice for Arsenal? And the truth is that it may just be that he is the leftover that Arsenal's position as a manager may not be a top position. Not right now. And so therefore, names start falling off the table, and Unai Emery is there, you go and get him, I think it's underwhelming. Shaka, you agree with Ale? This is kind of an indictment of what the Arsenal job has become? Uh, it, it's, it is what the, what the job has become. And, and um, as much as I, I agree with Ali in that, in, in Unai Emery's failures at PSG, I think the bar is much lower when you're talking about Arsenal Football Club. It has been lowered over the last few years. And despite his failures at, at PSG, I don't think you could question Unai Emery uh, and the successes he had with both Sevilla and Valencia. Um, if he can bring that back, getting both those clubs into, into the Champions League um, in his, his, times, his times there, if he can do that for Arsenal, I think that's a huge success. You don't have to go deep in the Champions League. That's not the remit right now. That's not where Arsenal are as a football club. You just have to get back there somehow. I think if Unai Emery can do that, I think he'll be hailed as a success. As a success, I, I actually like this appointment. Gab, what does Unai Emery do or not do for Arsenal in terms of the transfer market and how attractive a club it is to come to? I don't know that he's going to have too much to do with it because obviously, um, and I don't think that's a problem. I mean, they're going to they operate obviously with a director uh, of a football model, so I don't think the transfer market's really relevant. What Unai Emery, uh, what his strength is, what he made his name on, is, is as a coach and as a man manager, he's very tactically flexible. He's very good at, uh, uh, at distilling ideas down simply. Uh, he, uh, he was listening to, to Ali there. Um, there's no question, I think, that he underachieved at Paris Saint-Germain. Let's not forget, you know, they failed to win the title last year, uh, which is pretty remarkable unto itself. Um, but before that, you know, he really worked wonders at Sevilla, not just uh, the three Europa League titles. Before that at Valencia, he took Valencia all the way to, to third in the league. Uh, he had a horrendous experiment uh, or experience in Russia at Spartak Moscow, wrong place, wrong time. But, you know, I think you have to look at his whole body of work, going back to Almeria as well, getting promoted with no budget, and then, and then keeping them up there, finishing in eighth place. 
He's somebody who has been good at getting his message across and getting buy-in from the players. One of the keys, I think, is going to be how effectively he communicates. Uh, his English is, is improving, but it's not obviously where he wants it to be. So he's going to have to hit the ground running on that, on that front.